Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about Team of the Season, the League Un, and the Market Crash, Weekend League Sell-Off, and actually stuff headed into Ultimate Team of the Season, why you might see crashing prices throughout the rest of this week. So I was just, originally when I was going to make this video, I was going to talk about uh, team of the Season cards just related to the League Un, but after looking at a few things, after looking at some cards, I really feel like I need to start talking about the ultimate team of the season market crash because what happens this week in years past, uh, the week before ultimate tots, a lot of the higher tier tots cards kind of just slowly go down in price because people know that there is a possibility that some of them get re-released into packs. So that is something that we could see uh, this week. And I want to talk about that and look through maybe some of the tot squads and some of the cards that get in and look at a couple examples of um cards that could get into ultimate tots what happens if a card does get in what happens if a card doesn't get in because last year there were some cards that got snubbed from ultimate tots that probably should have been in so uh speaking of the prices falling though first i want to look at these league un team of the season cards that are just now or that have been in packs for a couple days these cards really started dropping hard late saturday into sunday uh sunday mo sunday morning saturday night uh, these cards really started to drop. Atal, like look at this graph of Atal. This guy was 1.2, 1.3 million coins all day on Saturday, right? Check this out. All day Saturday, 1.4 in the morning. During lightning rounds, 1.25. And then look at this. In the nighttime, he has dropped 200,000 coins. And to be honest, this makes me think, okay. At first, I thought, hey, maybe this might be flippable, right? Like we may, we might be able to pick this up on a little Sunday night or Saturday night into Sunday morning flipping situation, right? But let me show you the amount of supply of this Atal card, right? So if I would buy him at like 105, which is where he's at right now, I would probably want to sell him at like 1.15 mil. There's only two pages of cards there, but this guy is getting listed up like mad. So maybe this guy does rise back up to like 1.12, 1. You know, a little over 1.1 in the morning. That's a possibility. Uh, but there's a lot of panic selling on a lot of cards right now. And I honestly, I just don't want to be a part of it. Because I feel like some of these cards are kind of overpriced the way that it is. Um, and we're really starting to see some supply for Atal, who was really a card before that was really, really rare. And, and now we're starting to see some supply as a lot of these cards are getting listed up uh, in the nighttime. As people are finishing their weekend league uh, and just kind of dumping the cards because they... They want to get the coins, right? And uh, I, I feel like some of the cards that are in this set of Team of the Season are a little bit overpriced. Just a little bit, at least right as of now. I mean, obviously, you look at the guys like Ben Yedder, You look at the guys like uh, Neymar, and you're like, wow, these guys are really, really expensive. I think they're overpriced. But uh, even a guy like Renato Sanchez, I feel like Renato Sanchez is a bit overpriced. Um, Di Maria, honestly. Um, Depay, a little bit. Atal, probably a little bit, too. Osimen probably a little bit if you look at some of the other Tots cards. Uh, Depay was last night 660,000 coins, I think, 6, 630, 660. He's now 500K. So a lot of these cards are just really, really turning down and getting hit with a lot of panic selling right now on the, the late night Saturday. Yeah, he was 660K this morning, man. He was 540 all, uh, even at the lowest on, on Saturday night. And now he's literally dropped another 50,000 coins. So... If you really want to try flipping some of these to, into from Saturday night into Sunday, what I would say is make sure you look at cards that are really rare that people are really trying out a lot. Marquinhos is one that I would maybe get interested in. Um, this Tots card, how much supply do we have at like 250? How many pages at 250K? Two pages? Yeah, I mean, you might have some people that want to go and try this card out, but I mean, this guy's 220,000 coins, 230 at the moment. And look at the supply. Like we're really starting to see the supply on a lot of these are not rare cards by any means so um i don't think i'm going to be doing any flipping um of these cards but i'm just kind of noticing and, and talking to you guys about how there is a lot of weekend league sell-off combined with uh what i feel is maybe some people just trying to take the coins especially if we look around the elsewhere on the market a lot of people just starting to take coins before ultimate team of the season on other team of the season cards right like let's take a look at Lewandowski Lewandowski is two million coins I believe if I'm correct on that this guy if you remember this card right here 2.045 mil for 99 Lewandowski 
This guy was selling at 3.4 million coins the first day during Bundesliga Tots. Uh, you know, Serie A Tots cards are going down. Like any card that is considered considered to possibly in Ultimate Tots, which could be Werner, Sancho, possibly Halan, Royce, um, Davies probably not. But from the Bundesliga, right, you've got a chunk of guys here that could possibly get into Ultimate Team season, maybe even Kimmich. Uh, you're starting to see these guys take a big dip off of the weekend league. And I would consider it a market crash sell-off, honestly. It seems to be like almost every single freaking week these cards just get dumped, especially if they are the ones that were just in packs. Like, look at this, man. Gomez, 720. Dybala, 685. Martinez, 1.13 for Lotaro. Ronaldo's 5.5 mil. I mean, this guy was 7.2, 7.3 mil first Friday of last week. Uh... Nine Golan is under 700k. He was a 900k card, 830k last week. Uh, you know, even Milinkovic Savage is down 70, 80k. Um, so a lot of this stuff is really getting panic sold, and it's just because people are stoked about the new League Un Team of the Season cards coming out. They want to up, you know, they want to open upgrade packs. They want to do that, and I think that the the prospect of Ultimate Team of the Season is really starting to get on a lot of people's minds. So I think you're going to see. Uh, more sell-off on these cards throughout the week this week. I really think you are. Uh, you know, Prem special players, or Prem Tots players especially, is where I feel like this is this is going to hit. Even though you might think, yo, Prem is already stupid low. You've got guys at Van Dyke like at 1.9. I mean, uh, team of the season Aubameyang is under 1.1 mil. Like, what gives, man? Under 1.1 mil for this card, bro. This guy was almost two, was to over 2 million coins at one point. And right now, he is 1050 for 96 rated Pierre Emmerich team of the season, a bombing. Crazy, 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 crazy how much some of these prices have fallen. Uh, Aguero was like a 2. Point, what, mil, 2 point something mil card, 2.4 mil. He's now 1.3 mil. Just crazy how much some of these Tots cards have fallen off. And honestly, uh, they're going to stay low and probably even go lower because, again, it's all about the. Ultimate team of the season, these guys getting re-released back into packs, which is way more supply. I want to show you what happens when a card gets re-released into ultimate team of the season, right? Last year, 96 rated right mid, Jaden Sancho, right? Bundesliga Tots, he goes, he rises a bit up out of uh, at the end of the week, as it did last year. Cards rose, came out of the weekend league, went low, kind of just kind of trickled down in price, and then boom, right? This is where we are right now. This is... Sunday right here the Sunday before ultimate tots of last year the 15th, right? You can already see prices have started to trickle down a little bit But look what happens in the next seven days, right? So we know ultimate tots is coming so people he goes from a one five one one five basically on PlayStation We go to Thursday, right? He's 1.31 So he drops almost 200,000 coins in four days right before he goes back into packs again Friday hits he takes an almost another hundred K down and look what happens over the entire week of Ultimate Tots. He goes from 1.5 mil all the way down to 880,000 coins. Those are the types of drops you could see on some of these cards um, in Ultimate Tots. And that's why you really want to get out ahead of time no matter what kind of card it is, right? Lionel Messi, 99 rated, right wing, team of the season card from last year. He was 2 point Sunday. He was 2.83 million on the PlayStation. By the time everything was said and done, he was 2.35 million. So he went down about 500,000 coins ish uh, from that card. And again, this is the ultimate tots from last year. You might look at this and you're like, yo, where is Neymar? Okay, we have Van Dyke, we have Cool Bali, but this doesn't seem that hype. That's how we felt last year, too. We felt like last year's ultimate tots, we kind of got snubbed, right? Like, why is Pepe in there, you know, over some of the other cards we could have? Um, cool Bali, like, Especially on the bench, some of these guys too. Like, why is Sarabia in there? No. Why is Chiellini? No. Like, give us some of the best. Why is Quagliarella in there? No thanks. Like, give us some of the best cards uh, in the Ultimate Tots. Like, Ultimate Tots is the best of, right? Like, best of Team of the Season cards. So, I hope they really do this better this year. Or, they release maybe two squads into packs. Or, they re-release more than just one squad of players. That would be hype. And could cause, cause even more market crashing which would probably be in EA's favor. But this is one thing I do want to talk about. If a very popular card is expected to get into Ultimate Tots but does not get in, this is what can happen. Check this out. Neymar, obviously, was dropping all week, 
headed into League on Tots, right? On, what is this? Friday. Friday, my man is 6.4 million coins on the PlayStation, right? Ultimate Tots comes out. He's nowhere to be found. He goes from 6.4 mil and it rises up a bunch in a lot of the buyback after the weekend up to 6.8, 6.9. He probably actually went up to 7 mil. So he went up like 500k, 600k ish uh, on that weekend alone. Kind of dropped back down a little bit to 6.4 in uh, the week after with just panic selling during Ultimate Tots, weekend league sell off, etc. And then he just absolutely exploded throughout the rest of the year because people just wanted to have him in their team. Until obviously they did whatever this was, re-releasing cards into packs again, maybe. I forget what that was. But uh, we're just worried about this part right here, which is ultimate team of the season. So again, it's either going to look like this, like a John and Sancho type, just a massive drop off during that week with a little bit of a slight drop off this week. Or it's going to look like this. You have a lot of panic selling and then a bounce. And if it's a really meta card, it could have a rise like Neymar did last year. Again, it's got to be really, really, really meta for that to happen. But... That's just something I wanted to preface with this video today with you guys. If you have high rated TOTS cards, even though Aguero at 1.2 million coins seems stupid cheap, right? 1.278 for and this Aguero right here, who's once 2.4 mil. I would, I would I beg you, please take the coins on this card this week. If it's a 96 Aguero, if it is a 97, 98, anything like 96 and above has the possibility to get into ultimate TOTS um, this year, especially. They're really, they're really going all out with the sets of TOTS cards and who they're putting in. So I feel like they could juice the ultimate team of the season, which would be dope, right? And we would all love that. But um, I do think Mbappe, Ben Yedder, and Neymar should all get into ultimate team of the season. Ben Yedder especially. Ben Yedder especially. Some people mentioned to me that um, last year, since some cards had team of the year versions, that EA did not re-release their TOTS cards, which is why Neymar did not get back in. So some of those things happened last year. I don't know if that's going to happen this year. I hope it doesn't. Obviously, Neymar doesn't have a team of the year this year, so I would expect this card to get in. Um, Mbappe has a team of the year and a TOTS, so maybe Mbappe doesn't get in. I don't know, man. All I know is this Ben Yedder card is stupid expensive, stupid rare. Same thing with this Neymar. Uh, I think they both get into ultimate team of the season just because it, it'll be... Like this card could drop 500k, 700k, maybe a million coins. This drop, this card could drop about the same uh, if they get re-released into Ultimate Tots. So that's kind of the risk that we run with some of this stuff and some of these cards getting re-released. So I know I've been talking about this for a lot in this video, but this is what I wanted to really hammer home: is that a lot of these Tots cards are just going to keep sliding down as they go uh, towards Ultimate Tots, especially if they're going to get re-released in Ultimate Team of the Season. Uh, that is something I do think that you would see, and I think you could expect that with a lot of the cards. Now, I want to look at one card. Again, this is just something I'm curious about right now. Bernardo Silva, right? 94 rated center mid card. Is this a card you would really expect to get into ultimate tots? I mean, I guess some people did because look at this, man. Really, a lot of starts, a sell off started happening. Ultimate tots didn't happen until right here, Friday, June 21st. But he, from Friday to Friday, he went from 500k down to 393 and then he just absolutely dies to 200,000 coins uh and then rebounds a, a bit back up but seriously this is why i would say cash out of basically almost all of your tots cards if you've got them in your squads uh unless it's like a lower rated one that you know is not going to get in look at havertz bro havertz went from 2.2 mil down to 1.5 look at that drop bro crazy 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 drop during all of the team of the season um, and then one common theme you do see here is a rise out of packs or a rise after ultimate tots. Um, and then I don't think this is footies. Footies is not that late, is it? I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out what that is, but, uh, a lot of these cards do continue to rise after that. So that's what I'm saying is we want to avoid this. I want you guys to sell before you see this. We've already had a lot of prices going down. Uh, and maybe some of the price drops this year won't be as big because these guys have not held their price at all. Right. Last year, Havertz was 2.2 million in packs. He was 2.2, 2.3 million when he got sold off for Ultimate Tots. So we maintained his price for like two or three weeks. That is not the case at all this year with Team of the Season as we've continually seen these cards uh, just continually get destroyed week after week that they're out of packs, like La Liga cards, like the Premier League, like the Bundesliga, like Messi's 2.9, Suarez is a mil, Griezmann's 630k, Baranza Mill, you know, like a lot of these guys just keep falling off and off in price. 
just because there's a lot of supply and more and more insane TOTS cards keep coming into this game. So that's kind of the stuff with TOTS cards. Again, I would sell very soon if you still have some tradable ones in your squad, just because I'm really stressing it. I want you guys to be ahead of the game on some of these cards. Now, a lot of them are going to rebound. Yes, like we saw in those, those graphs, there are going to be some rebounds because people will sell and then buy back. Um, is there stuff that I want you to invest in this week or this week? Because what we often talk about on a Sunday like this is, hey, watch the weekly sell off. We're seeing some stuff get down low in price. This is what you might be able to invest in um, today or headed out into the week. Like we usually looked at out of pack special cards. I don't think I'm really going to buy that much this week because all of this week is going to be upgrade packs. People trying to pack Neymar, Mbappe, Ben Yedder. And then after that, it's ultimate team of the season where people are probably going to conserve their coins, sell some of their teams and wait to really buy stuff. You might see a little bit of a rise on Thursday rewards, but I don't think it would be a crazy amount. And again, um, this is something I want to bring up with you guys again, because the out of packs gold cards actually dropped the most OP players in the game. Mbappe and Mr. Neymar uh, are both down in price their gold cards they are out of packs these cards are out of packs right now and they are dropping in price due to the fact that they were over invested and now you have the people that are actually using them in weekend league that are selling them off are starting to list them up on the market i expect neymar and mbappe both to rise a little bit today on sunday because i think people are going to reinvest in them so they're going to be out of packs for most likely two weeks i like neymar a little bit better than mbappe just because neymar is, is neymar right 290k for a gold Neymar card that so many hundreds of probably just millions of people that can afford at this stage of FIFA 200k a lot of people can afford that 290 right uh, I don't mind these out of packs investments again I really don't mind trying to double dip on these if you pick them up sold into the hype on Friday of last week uh, or this weekend I think you have a chance here to pick them up again because they're probably they're out of packs like this gold Neymar is not a packs right now and he's probably going to get into ultimate team of the season. So I think he stays uh, as an out of packs gold investment as possible. And we'll start to look at more of that stuff later on this week uh, in FIFA with more investing related to ultimate tots and then whatever's going on with League One as well. To end this video off, I want to talk quickly about Lucas Mora, my guy, Lucas Mora. Of course, getting the player moments card celebrating his comeback hat trick versus Ajax in the UCL 2018-2019. I will be doing this card because I'm a Spurs fan. Most of you guys should probably not do this card because it is, again, extremely, extremely overpriced. He did get the five-star weak foot upgrade, which is massive. I've heard this card is very, very good in game. He fits the meta to a T. But it costs 1 million coins. This card, dude, this is basically an icon SBC. So, you know, EA kind of just, you know, they they sucked me in here with this SBC. And then they kind of backstabbed me with the insane requirements that this requires. But it is probably craftable to an extent with all the upgrade packs that I will be opening this week during League on Tots. I do expect to see this card in my club very soon. And I will probably be using him in the weekend league next week. So... That is one thing I will say. And again, uh, we'll be talking about this all week as well. But since Ultimate Tots Weekend League, the red player picks and the ultimate packs are going to be the potential for crazy amounts of coins for uh, Weekend League rewards. Not this Thursday, but next Thursday. Uh, you're going to see a big buyback on a lot of Tots cards that don't get into Team of the Season uh, Ultimate. And just a lot of you know icons, usable meta players on Friday night of Ultimate Tots, so this the end of this coming week, when Ultimate Tots is released, we get new things. I would expect a really, really hefty rise in the market on Friday night because people will be scared to buy until they see who is in Ultimate Tots and who until they see who are those players going to be. And then I would probably expect a massive buyback. So those are my preliminary thoughts and just kind of talking about the market at the moment uh, in terms of Tots cards of all types, um, especially ones that are you know, possibly getting into ultimate tots, possibly not getting into ultimate tots. We'll look at more of this stuff later on in the week in some separate videos and, you know, how to prepare and maybe some investments we can make. The only investment I do like still at the moment, and I feel like I cover SBC fodder at the end of videos, which is probably not good because it deserves more of my time. But 
Um, I still think 84s, 85s, and 86s are a decent buy. They're up a little bit because of the Lucas Mora SBC today, um, but I would say maybe during lighting rounds today on Sunday, if there's no new SBC released, which there could be, so maybe you want to buy before then, but still maybe club stock a few of these guys. 85s in like the lower 6K range is fine with me. 86s as close to like 13K as you can get is fine. And then the 3K range for a lot of these 84s is great. Um, a lot of the higher rated fodder kind of rose today because Lucas Moore required two 89 rated squads. Um, and we'll talk more about high rated fodder later in the week this week. There's a possibility that it could go higher depending on what comes out at the end of the season. So a lot of stuff going down to FIFA Ultimate Team at the moment. Again, today is Sunday. Weekend League sell-off is probably going to keep going down. You're probably going to see some more out-of-pack stuff continue to drop. I would expect the La or League Un League Un pass cards to probably continue to drop as well. A lot of these cards just continue getting packed and getting panic sold all over the game, which is crazy. Uh, like, I don't even know where this Atal is going to stop at. Like, he's still getting listed at around like 1.05 mil, which is crazy that this guy's dropped so much. Like every time I look, he's like 20, 30K cheaper, which is just wild. So I don't know how low this guy's gonna get, but he's all of a sudden got a lot of supply on the market. It's getting interesting. And a lot of these blues are dropping in price. So the theme this week is dropping in price, all right? So get out if you haven't while you can, if you've got tradable cards in your club, especially Tots cards. That's the way that I see it. If you see it differently, let me know down in the comments. If you have any uh, questions, of course, drop them down, be down below there as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.